Hey guys, in the last video we talked about updating. And particularly I had you to find this update person params and update function. Now remember that the update person params is to really permit the fields or or attributes that you want to come through the form. And right now we have this little update function that I had you to find at the end of the last video. It's empty right now, so it's really useless. But Remember that this edit function points to the edit page that we created in the last video. So this edit page, when we click save changes, it doesn't really go back to edit. It goes to update. So when you click save changes right now, it will come in with a missing template org person update. That is because our update function isn't filled in. So that's the general dance. We click edit, it goes to the edit page, we click save changes it runs whatever code is inside this edit function so if we fill in our edit function or our update function to something like this what you see here is it's taking its org person parameters that you defined here and it's going inside the org contacts attributes which is everything that's inside the, this uh, this key value pair so that would be the address one address two uh, the type countries, everything in there, and it's going in one level, which that's what that's what the zero uh, key is for, and it's really just sanitizing everything, because the key value pairs doesn't come in quite neatly. You can see here that we have type country ID ID, but we need that to be just type country ID, so that's why we're reorganizing this so that the key value pair is just type country ID instead of type country ID ID. Now I have some comments all written out so that you can overlook uh, these, this, this function later on. But it's really, really simple. So again, they, we find the person of, the current person of the, who's looking at the, the edit page right now and we're looking if they have contact information. Because remember, we split out contact and or and their login credentials into two models. So if the, we find and initialize their org contact info, so that's basically giving them like a blank, blank registration form or blank contact form. And since we already know their email, we put in their email for them in their form. And if the org company ID is not nil, then we're just gonna put that in there for them in org person because org person also has a field for org company ID to define which company they are in. And we're gonna create the contact record right here in this line of code in line 29 and we're gonna try to save it. And if it's saved successfully then we could just update the email update the email of the current org person in the org contact model as well. And at the end of everything, we redirect the person back to their uh, back to their edit page, so that they could re-edit their information if anything was wrong. And if there was anything wrong with the information that they submitted, then we just re-render the edit page to them fix it with errors. So let's just save that and go back here. And I'm just gonna click refresh to just give us something new. And let's just give it 55 Fake Street. And persons in British Columbia, we have no companies yet. Let's give them a new postal code P7M2PG. And let's click Save Changes. So now you can see that by saving changes, what happened is we threw them back to the edit page. So we ran the code, we sanitized it, we went through all of this. And we got into the if statement. We tried to save it, it saved, and it redirected to the edit page with success. So you can see that the information stays there because that's how we defined it. And if we look into our SQL and we type in our contacts, you can see that a record has been saved as fake street. So that's all I really want to go through in this video. 
um, there is one thing that I want to go through and you should see here that we did save a lot of lang latitude and longitude and I will talk about that in the next video but that is really how you save information in Rails. Other than that, please rate, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys next time.